Hello, hi everyone, I'm Dahlia. I'm an art educator and an artist. Today, we'll be making a print again. We'll do that in a minute. First, I want to show you an example of a print at the National Gallery Singapore. This artwork is a print. This print is called a woodcut. The artist Chu King Kuang carved his portrait on a piece of wood and printed it on a piece of paper in black ink. Artists and printmakers create woodcuts by carving out images from a piece of wood like this one. Woodcut is one of the techniques under relief printing. As the word explains, it is the higher surface that gets printed when you roll ink on it like this. Instead of wood, we will use compressed foam so that no carving tools are needed. The idea is to create relief and recess areas. When you print, the image turns out inverted, a mirror image. Here are the materials that you need today. An A6 compressed foam, a smooth one with no holes or scratches on the surface is best. Any holes will show on your print. You can use copier paper or drawing block paper. You can print on colored papers too. A pencil, ballpoint pen, marker, a metal ruler and a few sizes of paint brushes. We want to use the smooth end of the brushes to draw on your foam, making grooves. Whichever tool that works best for you. For printing, we need water-soluble block printing ink, a spoon, masking tape, a plastic folder and an ink roller. For the ink pad, tape something flat and waterproof like a stiff plastic on a cardboard such as a clear plastic folder. We can also tape it directly onto your table. Stir the ink well and scoop a little to one end of the plastic. With the roller, tap on that ink and roll the ink evenly into a smooth ink pad. Avoid pushing and pulling the roller. Lift and roll, lift and roll to help even the ink out on the pad. The idea is to use either a pen or a pencil to draw on the foam. They will create thin recessed lines and if you want thicker lines or groove, use the back of a big brush and carefully press as you draw. With the marker, draw on the foam. I use lines to draw the first portrait while the second one has tones added to the portrait. With some pressure, trace out the line drawing using either a pencil or ballpoint pen to create grooves. These lines will print out as thin white lines. If you want black printed lines, press the white non-image areas. Using the back of the brush, carefully and slowly press the foam down, leaving recessed areas and lines as you trace your drawing out. You can use the pencil for finer lines too.
Here are the foam boards ready to be printed. As you can see, the recessed areas for this one is rather deep. I use the back of the pencil to press the white areas down. Not too much and not too little. Transfer the ink onto the surface of the foam. Be careful not to put any ink into the grooves. Keep transferring the ink from the ink pad to the foam until there is enough ink on the surface. Mark the corners of your printing paper for registration. Then place the foam in the center. Carefully place the paper over the ink foam. Hold it down and press evenly all over with your palm. Are you ready to look at the print? There you go. Now let's print the rest. Take a look, here are the prints. Relief printing is one of the many techniques in printmaking. Hope you have enjoyed that. That's all we have for today. Come down to the National Gallery Singapore and discover your favourite print. See you!